Hey yo, what is up? A Yak Tiger Prototype Tier 8 Premium German Tank Destroyer. Now this is one of the three, um, you know, loot box tanks from the Waffentrager event. And if you think you are, whoa, I'm so lucky I got the new Jaeger uh, Tank Destroyer. I'm sorry to say you are sorely mistaken because the real deal here is the yak tiger now if you know my history or you you follow part of my story uh, i'm not a tank destroyer player in fact i've not made any videos with a fixed turret kind of tank you know what i'm saying I've, i don't ever play tank destroyers that have that do not have a rotating turret or a turret that works so to see me play this is kind of like a, a bonus content for you guys because i don't ever play tank destroyers with fixed turrets uh, this gives me kind of like a vertigo kind of like a headache when i play it so i avoid playing this thing every time i go into sniper mode and then i rotate the tank i get this woozy feeling that i'm not comfortable so i don't ever play this kind of things but anyway uh, I decided to play the Yak Tiger prototype because I couldn't bring myself to make a video about the Jaeger. I did attempt to play that tank, and uh, let's put it this way: I don't like to make like you know negative-sounding videos, so I decided not to make a video about the Jaeger. And truth be told, you know what I mean these guys they gave me the tanks to try out they expect me to make a video out of it and i feel kind of like guilty if i don't make a video out of it and uh i've already made a video out of the 283 uh the only two tanks that i did not make a video about was this one and the new jaeger so that's how we ended up with the yak tiger prototype i'm playing it because i'm giving it a chance uh in the past i did not give it a chance i decided to give it a chance uh we are in fjords map and um, we're learning some new lessons i decided to come to this corner to snipe out the enemies and if you look at the composition of the map uh you look at the uh, the majority of the action is happening down south where we have our IS-6, the SMVCC. They are holding out the southern part of the map, which looks to be not bad. I'm keeping my eye on it, to be honest with you. And I'm thinking to myself if I should um, proceed to that location now. But I was looking at this GSOR and I was hoping to finish him off. And the reason why is because uh, this guy is a one-shotter if i finished him off uh maybe my renegade in the middle would stand a better chance of surviving because every time he peeked out that gsor would just snipe him so i decided to hang out here for a while besides there's no one here it's just me um manning this position and i, I thought that as soon as that gsor peeked out i could have finished him off before i headed south and if you look at the, the mini map there is some movement down south now i should have finished off him here but he was fast as well he realized uh that i was uh camping him out at this position at this point uh i decide to go down south but clearly it is too late uh but you know what we're learning some lessons here we are taking uh you know we're learning some things and uh you know we'll, we'll learn some lessons but anyway we're looking at 700 horsepower 1600 hit points 38 kilometers going forward 2012 in reverse nine power to weight ratio which is really slow heavy tank but 246 ap penetration 311 premium penetration reload time 12 and a half seconds uh 0.34 dispersion really good moving dispersion at 0.3 uh, 0.18 well i won't say really good at 0.18 but um not too bad uh, moving dispersion uh, but clearly we have lost this game and i am partially responsible for that because i did not uh go into a correct position i would say early in the game or um sooner to support my southern team but this is the end of the road for me i finished off 
with 3.7k damage. Uh, this is my first game uh, in this tank ever. So never played a Yak Tiger prototype or any kind of Yak Tiger 88, this kind of tank anyway. Um, but here, this one is my second game. I only played two games in this tank. Uh, this is my second game uh, in the Yak Tiger Proto and uh, I learned my lesson from the first game which I will apply into my second game and we are in Karelia North and what is the lesson that I learned from the first game well we will find out I, I want you to figure this out yourself because uh, what you learn from what you what you took from the first game if you apply it to the second game uh, you will achieve the similar result that I have because I thought about it and uh, I realized that this tank is played a different way not the way that I played it in the first game uh, I'm coming to this position this is my favorite position here on this Karelia map if I'm sniping from a distance if I have a tank that has uh, pretty good accuracy and uh, somebody is spotting the forward positions for me I can just keep firing from the bush and I'm pretty safe from this position because um, those guys are in heavy tanks and even though they have um, they're in the viewing circle they can't really spot me at all uh, because they are heavy tanks and I'm behind the bush but here we go within one minute one and a half minutes we are already six tanks up. I've done 1,200 or 1,300 damage. Uh, our team is up 3.5k. This game is pretty much over. So what is going on here? Should I just drive forward and kill that 56 TP? Uh, I could, but you can clearly see from the enemy's um, lineup, they have some tanks unspotted which is the Sal uh, which is the Ferdinand and the Scorpion G and you can bet that Ferdinand and Scorpion G are the tanks that are supporting the 56 TP down south they are sniping for the 56 TP so any tanks that push forward down south uh, to push or to attack that 56 TP uh, they're gonna get sniped from that Ferdinand and that Scorpion G take a look at the uh, enemy uh, on the enemy team you can clearly see that those guys are there now what am I doing right now I'm pushing forward going into the field because I want to kill these two guys that are out here I am relying on my team to be kind of skittish kind of scared as you can see my team the 703 version 2 the T69 the J Pen panther they're kind of scared and i don't blame them because there are some tanks supporting these guys here um and i really had to hope that these guys were kind of scaredy cats and didn't want to go forward so that i could lumber forward with my really slow tank destroyer and because they are scared and because uh for whatever reason they didn't want to to trade their HP even though they have a lot of HP to trade uh, they could have taken a few hits and still survived this game uh, I have no time to waste I've only done 1700 damage so far sniping from a distance this game is we're gonna close this game out really soon it's already 10-6 there's only five tanks left in the game if I do not continue moving forward take the risk of getting hit if I don't go forward I'm not going to get any kind of result out of this game so I've just got to drive forward if this Ferdinand or this Scorpion G happens to shoot me so be it I don't have a choice I have to go forward in order to get myself any kind of damage not only do I have to go forward I have to depend on my team uh, to be kind of scared to be kind of uh, standoffish I want them to be afraid of the enemy so that I can continue to push forward and get the damage for myself uh, so to speak uh, you understand what I'm saying right this tank is a really slow tank going forwards only at 38 km I don't even think it can go 38 kilometers an hour um, uh, maybe downhill maybe you know in a 
if it receives a push of some kind maybe it can go 38 kilometers going forward but uh, other than that i have to keep uh, lumbering forward with my slow speed and my extremely low power to weight ratio uh, try to get myself forward try to get myself into the game i'm really thankful that my team is really scared that 703 could have completely bossed this game because it has the armor it has the hit points um it could have been the hero of this game but instead he's left uh he's left this space for me uh to go forward he's left this position for me to take the lead and that's exactly what i do i track this ferdinand so that he cannot turn but he's got a repair kit unfortunately so he does manage to turn and land one shot at, on me i do not have a repair kit anymore uh repair kit is on cooldown so i'm kind of like stuck uh i do manage to blind shot this scorpion g and uh, finish him off there 3200 damage i do turn around use my repair kit and see if i can get the last shot on this lt 432 again that 703 being very timid and very slow to react i managed to steal the kill for five kills in my second game not too shabby at all this yak tiger prototype is really making me happy for two games doing 3k plus damage each game i'm pretty happy i can't ask for more i think i might play this tank a bit more and if you thought you got that jaeger and you scored a big um big win for unboxing that jaeger you are mistaken the real gem of this loot boxes is the jaeger prototype thanks for watching the video i will see you on the next one Bye bye